Hello, everybody. So, would you like to get started by changing your WordPress site and converting that directly inside a Shopify store? Let's see how we can do this process in a very easy way. The entire process. First of all, what I'm going to be focusing on is inside the location of my Shopify account. Let's go directly into Shopify.com. So I'm going to leave you the link down below in the description, guys, so we can all get started into Shopify. You might be having an actual huge deal and a free trial for a few days. So once you're creating an actual account, it's going to be asking you to create your very first store. So in order for, let's say, adding all the elements from your actual WordPress, what you wanted to do, of course, is to get started by creating an actual blanked website inside Shopify. So choose the option that says create store and you have all the prompts to get started in. So you can skip all these elements. I choose that I'm currently living in Mexico and my actual store should be created in no time. So once I have my very first store created into Shopify, what I'm going to be focusing on now is into the content from the WordPress. So what I'm going to be doing here is now to log into my WordPress account. Here into WordPress, what I'm going to be focusing on is into the tools here into the lab pod. So as you can see, we have the tools section element. Now what you want to do is to choose the option that says export. Here into export, what you want to do is to choose the option that says all the content and click into download export file. So this one is going to be generating us an actual XML file that containing all the posts, the pages, the product variation, absolutely everything we have created here into WordPress. So I'm going to choose the option that says download export file. So as you can see, here is my XML file. Now let's import this content directly into Shopify. I'm going to head back into my Shopify account that we have just created totally for free. Now here, what I want to be doing here is to focus into the Shopify import tool. So if you focused inside your Shopify administrator tool, let's go directly into the lab pod that says applications. Here, what you want to do is to type the actual keyword that says store and porter. So you might not find anything at the moment. So you can choose the option that says search store importer in Shopify App Store. So there are similar applications designed for importing content directly from WordPress. You can upload the file directly there. They can help us to migrate our store inside Shopify. So in here, what you wanted to do is to upload my XML file. Usually using it to add the URL, the administration login and the administration passcode such as your targeting card. And once you have all of those elements added, it's going to be asking you, of course, to get started with an actual theme. So here, what you can do is to customize your actual theme. So to get started here, choose a theme into the Shopify store. Let's go directly inside the popular free themes. And you can choose all the elements that appears in here just to track all the elements here in this case. As you can see, here's the shopping of my WordPress, but I wanted to send all this product into Shopify so I can add this new product directly inside Shopify. So I choose, for example, uh, the actual Dawn and I hit into install. So what you can do is now to customize the actual theme. So click into the option that says customize to open the theme editor. So you can adjust the layout, you can adjust the colors, the fonts, and other element settings to the match your branding identity. So we can use the drag and drop editor to arrange content blocks as needed. So we can see we have created your product, catalog, contact, header, adding the template. If I go into the theme settings, I can change the logo. I can add more colors. I can add different typography and much more elements here inside my online store. When you make the migration of all the stuff directly inside your store, you should see that here inside Shopify, you have all the products with all the information already been added and set it up. If you don't see this, what you can do is to try to import products and choose the option that says import. And it's going to be asking you to add a CSV file. So to get a CSV file, I can go back into WordPress. Here into my actual WordPress, I'm going to locate once again the export section directly here inside my toast. But here, what I want to be doing here is just to choose the element that says products. And here have the download export file. Here into product, what you can do is to organize your products. Here, what you can do is to create collections inside your products. You can add much more elements. We can see the inventory, the transfer, the gift cards, and even you can add your own customers. And even you can see that here are going to be added already been one. 
now configure the Shopify settings. So here what I'm going to be focusing on is to configure my Shopify settings. First of all, let's go into settings. Here I have the payment section into the lip pod, but I can add getaways like Shopify payments, Stripe, and so much more in order to get paid. Here into the lip pod, I have the shipping and delivery, but I can go and focus into the volume of shipping, someone's rate and method. And lastly, the tax rating. So here what I can do is to configure rates based on my location and where do you actually ship to do. So to ensure a smooth transition and maintain the CEO ranking, you want to set up redirects from your WordPress site to your new Shopify store. So we can install the redirect plugin and add a new directly here into the redirection or focus directly here where it says domains. So we can try to connect the existing domain and add it here into Shopify so we can disconnect this domain from WordPress and add it directly inside Shopify. And you can see that the process actually is not that hot. Lastly, what you need to do is to test your Shopify store. So before going live, what you want to do is to navigate through the store to ensure all the pages load correctly and look as expected. And lastly, you can of course place test order just to make sure that the checkout process works smoothly and you have received order notifications. And well guys, that is how we can export from one store into another one, which in this case is Shopify. So just in case you have any questions, you can leave it in the comments down below in the section. So with the Shopify powerful e-commerce features, you can now take your online store to the next level, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel, share this video, and stay tuned for more online media for more valuable tips and tutorials, guys. Thank you so much, guys. Hopefully we can all see you next time.